Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade disinfecting wipes. I'm here in Wisconsin and you cannot find them anywhere in the stores around here. And in fact, we finally just got regular bleach here. The bleach that kills 99.9% .9 of germs in my local dollar store. So that was super, super exciting. I made some previous videos and I had to use scented bleach because that's all that was available at the time. But you do want to use the disinfecting bleach because there are a couple of types so make sure that you get the right one but these wipes are going to be so easy they're going to be with things that you probably have laying around your house this container right here i just picked up at the dollar tree i'm hoping that it does the trick if you have an old container that you have bought disinfecting wipes before i would use that i currently have a container of it but it's not used up but i don't want to empty it out so i'm just going to go with what i what i got here at the dollar tree so we're going to use this and then I have a roll of paper towel. This is the Viva brand. So you do want to use a thicker um, sort of paper towel here just because you want to be able to wipe up and use as much pressure as you need to and not worry about it disintegrating. So we're going to use two cups of water and we are going to use one tablespoon of bleach for this concoction here. And again, this is going to be so, so easy. After this, you're no longer going to have to buy any at the store. I just had a huge pack laying around and so that's why I still have some. So I'm just going to cut this paper towel in half so that it fits in my container here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And if you are new here, I hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm currently uploading twice a week on this cleaning channel. And I have a whole playlist in the description box, basically how to clean anything, because this channel is all about cleaning and organizing for busy women. I try to find the best, most efficient ways to do things so that you can spend more time um, on other things and cleaning your house. <laughs> okay, so that is going to be good. There we go, it kind of looks like a longer roll of toilet paper. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here and it fits just perfectly. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna dump the one tablespoon of bleach into this two cups of water. Now this is the correct ratio recommended by the CDC um, to have antibacterial properties. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know about you, I love the smell of bleach. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, am I alone with that one? I just love it. <laughs> Gonna stir that up right there. Put the cap back on this one. And I just love these cute little bottles rather than having a big old tub of it if you don't use a ton of bleach on your everyday, excuse me, <clears throat> your everyday life. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that right on there. All over it. Saturate it well. Yeah. Okay, let me get you in a little bit closer now to show you this next step. Some of you might be wondering what this white spot here and think that it might be bleach, but no, this is not bleach right here. What had happened, I don't know if you've seen at the Dollar Tree, there are these jelly window clings or actually we had purchased them from Target. Well, what had happened is one of those jelly window cling things was on the table. My daughter had left it there for not too long. I mean, I would say like an hour or so and it stained this table right here. And so the only way that I could get it out is I ended up having to sand it um, because it was bright red, but this is not bleach. Um, you can see here, I have used wipes on this table, um, disinfecting wipes with bleach in them for many, many years. And um, it has held up very, very nicely. I did purchase this table from Overstock, but no, this is not bleach right here. Okay, so what's really nice is once you pour the solution of bleach to water on here, this will come out really easily. I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. Just like so. Yes? Awesome! And it's nice and saturated. I'm going to go ahead and toss this in the garbage. And there we have your own, again, one-handed disinfecting wipes. So let's go ahead and wipe things down. I'm going to share some tricks with you here. Oh, and it, it smells lovely. <laughs> okay, that's better. And this is just about, I would say, very similar in size to what you would get at the store. So when you are wiping your surfaces down, 
with the solution, you wanna let it sit for five minutes so that it can truly disinfect the surfaces that you need it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. And I love this because it's so easy. I know those little things can add up. This is such an old table. We've had this before. I had kids. <laughs> I don't want to replace it though because my kids are so young and do their crafts on here. and I just can't justify buying a new table um, at this stage of where they are. So again, you want to let that sit and soak in for five minutes to really do its job. And then you can just go ahead and toss it in the garbage like you normally would. I'm gonna show you something else here really quickly. And this looks a little funny because my cutting job, but it's so nice because you just literally pull them out of here and pull your sheets. And again, you wanna use a paper towel that is relatively um, sturdy. And then you just put this back on here. And again, if you have a container, an old container that you could use, um, absolutely use what you have on hand but I did not have one, so this is what it is going to look like. In fact, my dad was just talking about how he could not order any, so I'm gonna make some for him and his house. Now, if you wanna take your house cleaning on even a little bit further, I do have rubbing alcohol right here, so you could use this as well. I have a whole video where I show you 15 different ways that you can use rubbing alcohol in your home, some really, really cool tricks and hacks. So I will have that uh, video linked in the description box below but if we're not friends on Instagram, make sure you hit me up at Andrea Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits, and this cleaning channel is one way that I demonstrate that. So thank you again for being here. Subscribe if you're new. Give the video a thumbs up, and happy disinfecting.